As I've shown in my previous videos, rank doesn't always directly equate to an individual skill. So in this video, I wanted to look at a different metric and see if actual time played and experience beats out ranks. So to find out, I took five level 200s and put them up against five level 100s while completely ignoring the individual's ranks to see if pure experience matters more than other stats. If you guys found this video enjoyable, then consider liking and subscribing and have a great day. All right, that's perfect. Here we go. So let, let me lay out the rules really quickly. So we've got the level 200 starting on attack and the level 100 starting on defense. Now, I did intend to have the level 100s have the, like the defense advantage because generally defense has more of an advantage over attack. Although I let the attackers pick the first map and they pick coastline, which is more of an attacker side of map. So whether they intended for that to happen or not, uh, it's what happened. So whatever. The level 100s did pick the second map, which is going to be Chalet. And the first map is Coastline. As long as I remember all that correctly. So, the idea here is that the level 200 should win because they have more experience. But we're actually going to see how that turns out. We're going to see how much the actual rank differences get into this. As you guys can see, we have got a lot of different ranks. So, who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? Well, we're gonna see i think it's gonna be pretty exciting to figure out who wins this personally i have no idea <laughs> i literally have no idea but i want to see if experience in game actual time in game is more important than your actual rank you know what i mean so today that's what we're gonna see starting off on coastline so it's gonna be interesting to see the operator lineups here so far the attack has a very peculiar lineup we're running a ying a cali and an amaru um Interesting. This is a pretty good setup. All the operators here, I don't really mind. I feel like you could switch out the the thorn or the lesion or the castle for something else if you needed to. But honestly, all of them are solid picks, so I've got no complaints there. Um, also, I know that you guys were talking about how my webcam was in the way, so I tried moving it, and I think I moved it into a good spot. So you guys, let me know in the comments if uh, this works a little bit better for you guys. So let me turn the game volume down just a tad. Like 25. All right. <clears throat> so we're rocking the red dot on Legion. Classic uh, low rank player move. Got to respect it though. The red dot's not bad. Just, you know, low ranking players tend to use it a little bit more. Opting to reinforce all of Aqua off. The middle wall in Hookah is not reinforced yet. And they also castled the outside door to aqua um which is interesting this is a very interesting thunderbird placement as well that's uh directly in the line of sight of ruins hookah window and hookah door so uh, you might actually lose more health than you would gain by trying to get that thunderbird <laughs> so we're gonna see how that works out for them uh wow we already have quacks going in really quickly taking out blanket so that's the Lucy down castle's trying to fight back a little bit and get the refrag here but he can't quite hit the shot on him yet. We've also got, I believe, Thunderbird or someone below. Malusi below. Or uh, Legion, I'm sorry. Oh, wait. Pup just got downed. How is he downed? Oh, this is all falling apart. I can't even keep track of what's going on. I'm not a caster. Quax is going crazy. That's all I know. Quax and Godire are going crazy right now. The level 200s are taking this very swiftly. 4-2 lead for them so far. Callie's out on the ruins. Of course. Where else would Callie be? How'd I push it in? It's now a 3v1. So the level 100s are getting quite literally smoked right now. Is it surprising? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Ooh, nice. Wow, did he get that from Ruins? Oh, he didn't. Oh, either way, nice shot. Technically a nice little one tap. All right. So uh, a little bit hard for me to follow the action there is uh, I'm not a caster, uh, nor am I a spectator for games. But that happened very quickly. The attackers got in the site and they kind of just killed everybody uh, very, very fast. You saw, I believe it was um, Quax? Was it Quax? Yeah, on, on Amaro, just kind of flying in, getting two kills really quickly. And I believe it was God Iron Finca picking up another two for himself. So, very nice. This time, though, it looks like they're running a aggressive lineup again. Uh, but this time, not so much with guns, more so with shields. Now, shields are great, but you have to have good coordination and teamwork for them to be great. Otherwise, they're, you know, kind of mid. So we'll see how this goes for them. 
Uh, maybe they'll be able to pull it off. I don't know. Uh, if it's just a blitz rushing in, I'm not going to be super um, amped about that because he's going to get probably destroyed, is my guess. Now, one thing that does work in their advantage, though, is they brought the shields the round that the level 100 stopped picking the trap operators. If you remember from last round, the defense had not only Legion, but Malusi and Thorn. So they had three trap operators, but this time they don't have any and they're going to be going up against two shields. So that's going to be kind of interesting to see how they deal with that. They're going to need to utilize the C4s that they have uh, on Mira and Mozzie very, very effectively. And they're also going to have to use their smokes very good on uh, the Bob. And I could just call him Dab. I don't know how to say his name. I apologize. He's going to watch his back and be like, bro, it's so easy to pronounce, but I, I can't do it. All right, so I'm very interested to see what these two shield players are going to do. It looks like they're just going to God six straight into service. This might be a heavy service rush to Bob, Dab, whatever his name is, already taking a bunch of HP. He cannot die. He is the one stopping this rush from happening. As I say that, though, Mira's going to pick up a nice little frag onto their Blitz player. So there goes the Blitz, which is very nice. Very nice. And perfect counter smoke coming out from Dab. They smoked, he smoked. Perfect. So now they're kind of stalled out here. They can't push in. He's able to do a good 25, 28 damage to, to Montaigne. Very nice. So the defense is looking like they're in a nice spot right now. If I'm being honest. We do have Mozzie roaming above. And no attackers really pushing that. So he's kind of just up there to be up there right now. The attack is stalling out pretty heavily at the moment. You've got two guys bathing. You've got the Wamai. Well, and you've got the smoke in bathroom right now. They're a little bit stacked up. Quax is trying to take out whoever's playing in bathroom. Ooh, he's getting close here. Him and Dab are kind of having a little fight right now. Yeah, they know he's there too because they're giving out pings. But none of the other attackers are really pushing this. Looks like uh, Montaigne's just in. And it doesn't seem like the defense knows or they just don't care. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure which it is yet. Rulak is still holding smoke. And smoke cannot smoke out the Montaner now. So this is actually really good by Quacks to be holding the smoke right here. But it doesn't matter because Doc's going to jump out, get Claymore, but he will take out Gridlock with him. That means the smoke can finally rotate back into sight. So... Uh, good little trade on the dock there. Uh, I don't know. I actually know they have man advantage. That was actually a really good trade. That was nice. So they're kind of both just outside still. 40 seconds left and the attack has yet to do much of anything. They've got no map control really. They're going to have to deal with Pup if they want to rotate over to Blue Bar slash Sunrise. So not going to be able to push in without killing him first. So we're going to have to keep an eye out on Pup. They're holding this pretty good so far. Uh, the attack definitely does not know that Pup's here. They have no idea. Yep, and Pup's going to pick up the first one. Ash is just going to push straight in, though. And Mira's going to take him out. Very nice. It didn't. It wouldn't have mattered anyways because Pup had the bomb down. And uh, Ash was not worried about that at all. So, nice shot. So, that's going to be the first round coming up for the level 100 players. Props to them. That was a pretty solid round, to be honest. Uh, definitely lasted... Quite a few more minutes than the first round. The first round quite literally was over in like 45 seconds. This round is over in like a good two minutes, two and a half minutes. So props to them for that. Pulling down the site. Defense on the coastline is notoriously a little bit difficult. Although they do have the mirror in play. The attackers kind of did a little bit of a whoopsie not banning the mirror in my opinion. Because mirror on coastline is very solid. So you're going to see them go penthouse. And it's going to be... I wouldn't say overly challenging, but it's going to be a little bit more difficult to take the penthouse now that they've got the Miram. So, you know, it just makes their life a little bit harder. Balances things out a little bit. Taking a look at the scoreboard, though. We've got uh, oop, on Mira. Hoff fragging for his team. Currently going 5-1. and one. And we've got Hacks on the other team. 2-1. Hoff frag for their team. You see a lot more... Um, Kills coming out from the team as a whole on the level 100 players versus the level 200 players. It's not a crazy difference by any mean, um, but it's a little bit more spread out than you see on the level 200 team. So we'll see if that trend kind of continues or not. 
Uh, let's take a look at the lineups, though. So the level 200s are opting to not bring the shields this time, which I believe is smart. Uh, I did not like the shield shot all that much. I feel like they, they played a lot better just shooting. And I think they should maybe stick to that. So that's what they're going to try to do this round. Going back to a similar lineup that they had the first round that they completely dominated the level 100s on. And they're going to see if they can recreate that once again. This is an interesting thermite setup, let me say. Angled grip and reflex. Wow, Quack is already dead. So that's going to be Dab picking up a spawn kill. Very nice. Uh, back onto this thermite setup. That is very strange, I must say. We got the top frag from the level 200 teams. Might be doing a little bit of an ash rush here, though. He is going to have to watch out for Pup and uh, whoever else it was. Dab. Yeah, Pup and Dab. Oh, and Aruni. Aruni pulled up to the scene. Nice. So, we're starting to see what you see low rank players do a lot. It's kind of just hold a lot of angles. And I don't think Quack or Dab knows how close he is to dying right now. But, yeah, he's dead. <laughs> uh, he was... Very close to getting wall banged there. Uh, it didn't matter though, because I believe Ying opened up the window for him. And I was able to get a nice little kill there. So they need to be working the wall here, is what the level 200 players need to be doing. They need to get the bandits or caves, whatever it is. I believe it is bandits. They need to get it off the wall and get this wall opened up. Whether that be uh, they go below, they nade it, do whatever. They need to get it off the wall. It'd literally be as simple as Ash going kitchen window and then just ashing above the window. It'd be as simple as that. And then they could open up the wall and take VIP. Uh, VIP is pretty crucial to, to taking this site. We're gonna have Hacks and Mira do a little bit of a gunfight there. We're gonna have God Eye pick up a nice frag on a pup. So there goes their banner player. He sh shouldn't have any utility left, so that's not that big of a deal uh, in terms of trades. Very nice. We're gonna see another kill by Boop. This is an interesting Mira. You don't normally see this. Uh, not same with the Arunis. This strat is like not very good, but it's just working. Respect to it, I guess. Wow, they are still the attackers are still repelled on hookah window. This is just not where they should be at, man. And uh, blanket is just stopping them from them from pushing completely. So the problem that I'm seeing from the level 200s right now is they're not being aggressive enough. They should be pushing in. Wow, what a nice shot. They need to be pushing in faster. You see, they're finally in the building now. 35 seconds left. Oof, what a nice shot actually a 1v1 now so i was i was hating on the the angled reflex a little bit but he's proving me wrong right now if he's got a mirror here oh it's a it's against him what? usually you see this mirror on the wall like this but it's opposite oh he needs to calm down he needs to reload and calm down oh boy okay he uh he had a case of the uh shakes right there he needed to calm down a little bit, reload his gun. We try to go for a plant. That's okay. Very nice try. It's a nice shot on the guy. Uh, control. All right. So that's going to be the second round going to, or I guess the third round going to the level 100 players. Their second round. So they're currently leading, which uh, on paper they should not be. But, you know, and again, who knows? Who knows? That's why we're doing the video. All right, so this is going to be their last round on defense, though, as this is ranked rules. So this is the level 200's last chance to pick up another attack round. So we're going to see uh, how that goes for them. Unless, nope, I am trolling. I am. I apologize. I am very tired. That was their last chance to get another attack round. They are now on defense. Wow. All right, so this is going to be the level 100's first round on attack and the level 200's first round on defense. I still don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Uh, so we're going to see the differences so far. Not that crazy of differences. I don't like the Rook all that much. Oh God, but I hate Rook. I'm sorry, bro. I'm a Rook hater. And you can say whatever you want in the comments. I don't like Rook, bro. So useless. Just bring Doc. Literally bring Doc. I, get the, I understand they got Thunderbird, but just bring, bring Doc. Why don't you bring Doc? Everybody knows Doc's MP5 is better than Rook's MP5. And if you disagree with me... You gotta tell me in the comments then. I don't have to tell you, bro. I played this game for seven years, and that's the conclusion I've come to. Brooks MP5 simply doesn't stack up with Doc's MP5. Uh, I hear a Gon 6 flying out. Is that Dab? Yeah, Dab is flying in as Finca right now with the Gon 6, trying to rush in. Uh, he's probably first gonna meet maybe Ella below, because she's on the cam here, or or Quack, who's on the cool vibe. 
Yep, they're already getting pings out on him. So they already know he's there. Blanket's going to pick up the first kill onto Godai, though. So there goes their Vigil player. No utility is really lost on Vigil. Him dying there, but, you know, not great. Blanket picking up another kill. Going absolutely crazy. So that is Ella and Godai down. They're two roamer players. Now it's just left to uh, Sight Anchors now. Although Rook is actually roaming still. And I... Ooh, Twitch definitely saw him. Twitch definitely saw him. Yep. This is going to be interesting. You gotta pay attention. Rook, you gotta pay attention. Your teammates just died by White Sarahs. Where are you going? Alright, so Rook does not know what's going on. Uh, which could be detrimental to his HP. Uh, wow, the rest of them are in sight. So we're having Quacks quite literally fight his demons right now. While Rook is in VIP. Quacks picking up a nice kill on the Yana. Oh, uh, what do you call it? Hax is actually gonna pick up a nice kill onto, uh, what do you call it? Yana. Very nice. He's, he's also got bomb down, so smoke could rotate right now. If I was smoke and I got the call out from my rook right now saying that I have bomb down in uh, VIP or penthouse, I'd run down these stairs and I'd fly up white stairs right now. That's just me though. Uh, okay. So not quite sure what Sledge is doing there, but he's gonna fly straight into medium rare vibes. Blanket picking up another kill. So it is quite literally the blanket show this round. Has all the kills, I believe, for the attacking team. So now it's just up to Quacks and Medium Rare Vibes to, uh, to save the round. They should be able to win this, honestly. Quacks should have three smokes. No, he has zero smokes. Oh, they rushed sight. That, that makes sense. Uh, either way, they should still win this round. Like it's just trying to do some drone work first. Figure out where everyone's at. He sees the Thunderbird. He knows that Thunderbird's there. He should know that uh, Quacks is either vase, CV, or in hookah like he is now. That's just like the basic positions that he should be at. He knows where Thunderbird is. This is still going to be hard though because he's got to fight a crossfire. As, as, as soon as the uh, medium rare vibes rotates back like towards the A-bomb, uh, they've, they've now got a crossfire on them. Unless he decides to rotate luggage. White side. 15 seconds remaining. Okay, so... Gun up, gun up. Ooh. Blanket with a quad kill. It's all up to Quacks out. Quack said, he said, nah, bro. I, I ain't about this. I'm leaving. He can have sight. He's got to go back now because he's planning 0-0 zero, zero on the clock. And Quacks... Wow. Quacks let him plant. This could be an ace clutch from Blanket right now. Actually insane. Woo! What a nice shot from Quacks, though. Oh, my God. Quacks with a triple kill and Blanket with a 4K. I was heating up there at the end. I can't believe that Quacks just ran away like that when he's trying to play it, man. He did the opposite of what he should do. But it's all good. He, he hit the nice shot at the end. He clutched up. I really thought that uh, Blanket on the other team was going to pull out a crazy clutch right there. Taking a look at the scoreboard, though. For the level 200s, we have uh, Quacks on top going 5-3. and three. And for the gold players, we have uh, Hoop on top going 8-2. and two. Surprisingly, it's not Blanket. I didn't know Hoop was playing that good. Props to him. 8-2. and two. Very solid. Uh, Blanket coming in a close second after that 4K, 6 and 4. The rest of the level 100 players not really showing up. You're definitely seeing a better spread now on the level 200s team than you were on the level 100 team. So, uh, very nice coming out from them. Great to see them turn that around. All right, so the level 200s are going to also be picking up the Mira. Very smart. I feel like Mira is a uh, not a must pick, but a, a very nice pick. I'm sure he's got long barrel on this or extended barrel, but it, I swear to God, it looks like a suppressor. I don't get it, man. I don't know, like, did they did they mess up like the model for it or something? Why does it look like a suppressor? Like every other gun is just like skinny, tiny, skinny, long barrel, and then on the vector, it's just like this suppressor. Like, what did, what went wrong, bro? All right, so God is gonna be attempting a little spawn peek here, though. Sadly for him, no one spawned ruins. Oh, never mind. Hoop did, which is also their best player, but. He's nowhere to be found. He's not going to get anybody with that. So it looks like the... Whoa, what is this? Is it Iron Sights? Those actually aren't that bad. Um, so it looks like the attack is going to be setting up for a kitchen take, potentially. Seeing a lot of them outside kitchen window. Um, wait, where is Blanket at? I can't even find him. I'm so bad at this. Okay, Blanket looks like he's going to solo push in through office. I don't know why, but through the wall, it looked like he was in sight. Or, like, in blue bar. Uh, so the attack is... Ooh, nice shot coming out from medium rare vibes with the iron sights at that. Wow, what a guy, man. 
So it looks like the attack is going to be slowly rotating off the kitchen window take, which is what they should be doing because you cannot all peek kitchen window and succeed. I'm sure it happens, but that is not how you win it at a higher elo. That, that, that loses you rounds right there. Uh, we're going to have Mira picking up a nice kill onto Flores. So unfortunate. There goes a lot of utility. Hopefully he's used most of it already though. Seems as if he has. Ooh, nice shot coming out from God Eye. That's going to be their Twitch gone now. So the defense is really looking good right now. I can't lie. Not sure where Ace is at. Sophia's trying to solo push herself. Let's see a little engagement coming out here. Yep. I have floor, uh, Ace and, and Warden take a little Changing bit of a mix. gunfight. Warden's going to come out definitely on top in that though. He's going to light up uh, Ace just a 1 HP and uh, Warden's full HP still. So very good for him. Sophia needs to realize that this is not going to be able to push. Uh, like there's like he got a nice kill there, but he's walking straight into a mirror window. Uh, would be surprised if he's able to get any more kills from this door. Ace, on the other hand, uh, is deciding to push down white, which uh, might actually net him a kill here on the guy that was playing their bathroom, which was Quacks. So it looks like we're gonna have Zofia rotate front door. This could end up working out for them. They're able to ace open the wall here, right where you see uh, Quax playing. This is perfect. It's not going to matter, though, because God Eye is going to pick up both of them on the flank. I think he dropped down from Blacktop. Oh, dropped down from uh, upstairs. Very nice shots. All right. So that is going to be round five going to the level 200 players. So they are retaking the lead, and that's going to put them on match point. Meaning, they win this round. We move on to the second map, which is Chalet. And if uh, they also happen to win that map, then it is over. This is a best of three game. So if the same team wins two maps, then the game is over. Level 200 players will have one at that point. Although, if the level 200s win this game and the level 100s win next game, then we are going to map three, which I will be picking because I let the other, I let those two teams pick their maps. Now I get to pick. I get to have some fun with it. All right, so taking a look at the lineups again, uh, nothing too crazy. I'm not sure what the obsession with the Ying is. I'm seeing Ying from both teams, like, a lot, uh, which is interesting. Uh, but we'll see how it works for them. I, I feel like I've seen Ying from both teams, like, twice. And I don't know if I've heard a single Candela go off, now that I'm thinking of it. So we'll see how this is going to go. This looks like a rush strat as well coming from the attack. Because you've not only got the Ying, but you also have the Lion. And that kind of screams rush strat. We'll see what they end up doing though. Alright, so taking a look at the scoreboard really quickly. We have Doke going 0-4 for the level 100 team. Very unfortunate for him. Uh, we have Hoop, Hot Frag still, 9-3. Doing very solid. And the level 200s, 5-3. Uh, we are hearing lion rushes come out the lion skins come out ash and uh what do you call it Sherlock are in fast as well same with ying here ying might actually come into a little engagement with quacks here in a second i don't know if he knows it or not but quacks is sitting right here waiting for this and so is god eye but he's gonna take him out he does not know the castle's there though so he's gonna get taken out as well one more is going to push in, though. That's going to be Sledge. Sledge is going to probably just going to rotate off this. I would not push that. Uh, that's not something I'd push. He's going to make the smart move. Rotate off. Ooh. Okay. Dad picking up a nice kill onto uh, Mute. Not quite sure what Mute was doing. But okay. Driving the three attackers. Rotate over by Hookah. Uh, Quack's picking up a nice kill onto Blanket. That's got to be a nice shot with the, uh, with the UMP. 3v3 now. Glass gonna meet a castle, so she's gonna rotate off. Sledge could open that up though. We've got uh, Dab getting another kill onto Hacks. Quacks picking up a kill on the Doke, so even it out to a 2v2. Uh, Hoop getting another kill, so now it's just a 1v3 or 1v2. And wow, Meteor Rare is actually gonna get that kill on 1 HP with the Iron Sights, an actual demon. So now it's a 1v1. Erlock does have the HP advantage here. Ooh. Hoop is playing better, technically. Hoop is 10 and 3, whereas medium rare vibes is only 3 and 5. So overall, I'm playing better, but we'll see if that 
stacks up here. I like how they mute you on that wall and banded it by arcaded it. Actually, it might be really smart. Oh, I was gonna say, Horn rotated off the shield. If uh, Hoop on here, it would have been really bad for him. Nice, very nice shot from Poop. Wow, that was a nice try by medium rare vibe. So I also love his name. Very nice. He almost clutched that out on one HP with iron sights on Thorn, bro. What a god, man. You gotta give him props. But with that being said, that brings us to OT. And we are now 3-3. So the level 100s live on. All right, so taking a look at the scoreboard here, we've got uh, Quacks going 8-4 and four, and Hoop going 11-3 and three after his clutch last round. Joke still going 0-5. All good, though. He's playing the support role. Uh, medium rare vibes on the bottom for his team going 3-6. and six. Although, you got to give him respect, man. He's grinding out the iron sights on that gun, bro. All right, so taking a look at the lineup. So we're going to see a Frost coming out of level 200s. Love to see Frost. I love Frost. Don't quite like playing against Frost. But I do love playing Frost. Um, and we're going to see the Dokubi coming out from Dope on the level 100 team. So it will be interesting to see how they use the Dokubi. I'm not sure if they have a specific plan in mind. Doke. Uh, medium rare vibes is opting to crouch in the corner of... Now this is a revolutionary strategy, gentlemen. This is one, this is one you quite literally have never seen before. This is what I died to in ranked. Here, look, I'm about to be one of these poor attackers coming up. I'm about to be pup. I'm about to open up this door and just get smoked. That would be me. Right, here it comes. You guys thought I was kidding. Here it comes. Oh, he's even got the suppressor on it too. Oh yeah, this guy's, this guy's, wow. I, let's just give him respect, bro. Iron Sight Suppressor. He lit him up to 1 HP. God, I going to get the refrag anyway, so it doesn't even quite matter. God, I might go crazy here. A zero swings into him. Nope. Can't quite get the kill. Dad's going to take that. So, the attack is already uh, in the advantage here with a 4v3 onto the level 200s. So, not looking quite good for the level 100s just yet. I'm trying to figure out what Frost is doing. He is being roam cleared very heavy. I would try to leave if I could. If I was him, I'd be getting way out of here, bro. Uh, wait, is Zero is Zero is top cool vibe, but Quack is gonna kill him. Quack is what 40 health now. Cross is still getting pushed out. Yep, Blanket's gonna pick up that kill. What a nice shot. It was a tight angle. Now it's gonna be Quacks and Hacks. That's not hard to say. In one v or a two v three. Ooh, that almost killed Ace right there. What a nice smoke. Uh, gonna get taken out by Blanket, though. So now it's a 1v3. Uh, Hax is near the guy with Bomb. The guy with Bomb is offsite right now. That's Hoop. So they're not gonna plant just yet. Hax gonna get a nice kill onto Blanket. Trying to pick up another one right now. He doesn't know. Does he know that Ace is coming? He's gotta know that Ace is coming. This could be an easy kill. Oh, that's bomb too. That's bomb as well. Oh, this is this is an easy day for uh, Axe. He doesn't have a lot of HP, so it's only gonna take one bullet from Doke to kill him. Although Doke is 0-5. This is the big kill that he needs right here. So put him on the scoreboard. This will be the most impactful kill he could get all game. I can't get it though. Got the C4. That's very smart. <gasps> Ooh, nice. Doke picking up his first kill. Arguably the most impactful of that entire round. Equaling out the win for level 100 team. So that's going to put them on match point for the very first time. Props to them. They are now uh, going to try to lock this out and bring it to Chalet, which was the level 200's pick. So we got to remember this was the level 100's pick. This is the map that they were to play. Uh, the level 200s did not want to play this map. They wanted to play play. So, I'll keep that in mind a little bit. All right. We are going to see a Glaz come out from the level 200 players. Very interesting. You don't see a Glaz every day. Um, or any day, usually. Um, but we'll see, we'll see what he can do with that. Uh, overall, a pretty normal lineup, though. I don't, I don't know about the Thermite too much, but... 
All right, so taking a look at the scoreboard once again, we have Hoop still on top going 12 and 4, and Quacks still on top going 9 and 5. So great performance out of those guys. We're going to be going back down to kitchen service. So I'm going to make a prediction. I feel like Laz might just smoke out this door and either invert repel in the door or just sit there and hold it through smoke. Sneaking suspicion that I have. We'll see. Jardy got his drone here. This thumbs telling me he's gonna try to throw a smoke grenade right outside the uh the door and just hold an angle, bro. I don't know. He's like a real glass type of player thing to do. You know what I mean? Like that's a that's a glass main play right there. Let's see. I, I'm 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 dying to see this. Ah, he's gonna do this. Okay. We're gonna smoke out the door. But oh, we're gonna stare at it. What are we doing here? I'm confused. They're like kind of all just sitting outside the door. Oh, they didn't want it. He wanted him to open it, so he didn't know he was glass. Okay. Fair enough. We got a mirror window on this. They actually have two. Uh, so they're going to have to be a little bit careful. Wow, he threw that with my, and then it got naded before it could actually detonate. So that is unfortunate. Axe going to try to push in to take out Doke. Ooh, and Fink is going to flank him. That's God Eye picking up the kill onto Doke. Nice shots by him. Now, the attack actually has quite literal about, about a map control they uh, have blue bar sunrise all of that good stuff so very nice by them oop is going to pick up a nice kill onto god eye so that's going to be their vi or uh, they're not their vigil they're finca finca dead oh what a nice angle by dab here though i don't know if the attack knows this or not i'm going to say they probably don't but dab is going to be able to counter the big or the, the kitchen window hop in here so they're going to need to be careful about that this might be an easy clip yep there it is. Oh. All right, and we're gonna we're gonna ignore that and head back over to Dab, holding down the kitchen window. Uh, we're just not gonna say anything about that. Oh, I don't I don't think they know blankets here. I don't think anyone knows blankets here. Laz still holding this down. It's been two minutes. He's not moved from this angle. Uh, they finally know that Aruni's in blue bar now, so they're gonna have to try to clear. Valk is actually gonna be pushing up and get taken down by their Twitch player. That's Quacks. So him and Aruni and Quacks are gonna be in a, a little bit of a gunfight here. Uh, the other three attackers are quite literally just sitting, waiting for Quacks to win the gunfight. It seems. They need to be droning him or something. Nice, good shot by Pub. That's gonna be the Glass player down. Axe gonna refrag onto somebody. I'm actually not sure who. They should not chase this kill. Wow, Pup with another kill. Very nice. So now it is a 2v2. The defense, not in a great HP wise uh, with Pup. He's making it work. Nice kill by Hacks. Medium rare is gonna be planning. Pup's gonna be proning in and it's working. Oh my God. Have you ever seen that strat? Have you ever seen someone just thrown into a post plant situation have you ever seen it all right so that's going to take us to 4-4 this map is going the distance as far as it can go so we're going to have the level 200s back on attack where they started to begin with or back on defense i apologize uh and the level 100s uh back on attack so we're going to see if they can uh pull this out this is very close very very close maybe the levels need to be like considerably different maybe it'd be like Level 100s versus level 300s. Maybe we'll do that soon. You guys have to let me know like what other type of videos you want to see. You guys got to give me ideas like uh, for the versus videos. Like we could do like ranks. We could do uh, X rank versus pro players or CL players or whatever. Any ideas? I'm open to all of them. All right. So they're going to be back on the Rook. I hate to see it. I really do. At least. Oh, they have Doc though. Let's go. I love to see it. So this is like, this is like the the trio right here. It's a great set of operators. All right, let's see what the attackers are doing. Looks like a lot of them are spawning outside of uh, luggage slash aqua. Wow. Hold on. Wait a minute. Do we just see a do we just see a deagle kill? We were just spectating him. I guarantee he went to shoot open the door and he accidentally got a kill. That is crazy. What a nice shot. You can even see the barricades open right there. Wow. Very nice. All right, so the attack now has above control. They're going to have to face Quacks, though, which is their best player on the level 200 team, who is currently holding down Sunrise. 
And the first contender is going to be, I believe, Twitch. Nope, uh, Pup. Uh, he's gonna try to hard breach the hatch open. You know what? This. Okay. Fox said, "You know what? I'll open it for you." Hack's gonna get taken out by Pup. Pup's gonna try to take out. Uh, what is it? Quax now. God Eye is also inside of uh, Blue Bar, trying to help out Quax the best that he can. Poor Mira is on site all by himself, trying to face an onslaught, man. He's got Sledge playing vertical on him. <laughs> He's just trying to stay alive, bro. Poor guy. Oh, right above his head, too. Better get out of there, man. Jeez, bro. Poor guy's just trying to survive out here. He got forced completely off the site now. Oh, we're finally seeing the Candelas come into play. Thank God. I don't think it's doing much of anything. Yeah, no, he can still see it. All right, well, there goes the gang. That was kind of uneventful. Uh, so it is now a 3v2. The level 100s are about to lose this if they can't pull something out of their asses. That nade's definitely going to miss. Almost, almost this damage to himself. They still haven't taken out God Eye, who's inside of uh, Blue Bar. Hoop's going to try to, but he's not peeking. He's trying to heal Mira up right now. I don't think God I knows that he pushed down. He can see his head right now. Very hard shot to hit when you're on attack here. Ooh, doesn't matter though, because Blank is going to pop in. Take him out there. So it's now a 2v2. All right, never mind. It is now a 2v1 with Quax taking up a nice kill onto Hoop. Blank is taking a bunch of damage onto the Mira. He's actually going to win that though. It is a 1v1. It can't get any closer than this. 4 4, 1v1, 10 seconds left. You're having Quax rotate up and get killed by a C by a Claymore. Oh my god. It can't get any closer than that. Oh my god. The level 100s are gonna take it by a Claymore. Wow. Just wow. Alright. So taking a look at the scoreboard here. We've got uh Quax on top, 12 and 7. Hoop on top on their team, 13 and 6. Awesome. Very well played by them. So now we're going to be going to map two, which is Chalet. All right. So unfortunately, you know? the fifth player uh -huh. for the level 200s had a little bit of some connection issues. His internet was not being very nice to him. His ping was spiking up pretty high. So sadly, he had to be replaced with a different fifth. So now we have uh, a guy named Dio in. I don't believe that's actually his U play now. His, uh, his P. Uh, nevertheless, we got a, a new level uh, 200 in, and we're going to see uh, if they can actually win it out this time. Taking a look at the map band or the uh, operator bands here, the level 200s are going to ban out the Jackal, while the level 100s are going to take out the Thatcher. Pretty default bands. We are on Chalet now, just as a reminder. Uh, this is the level 200s pick. Or speaking of them, they're going to take out the Mirror as well. We'll see what the level 100s ban for their final pick. I'm still out of juice. That's unfortunate. We had like a 10 minute break and I didn't get more juice. No, oh, that wasn't smart. All right, they're gonna take out Cade. Very nice picks. Pretty normal bands, I'd say. Rel relatively normal, pretty solid. All right, so let's see where they're gonna go first. My guess is probably basement. That's generally what lower ranking players do. They go basement. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Low key, basement is like the worst site on this map. Um, it just, it's really not that good. There's so many ways to get the stuff off the wall when you're trench side and it's so easy to open those walls. And then from there, it's so easy to take sight and it's like, eh, this site's not that good. Uh, and ranked though, it's kind of nice because, uh, nobody wants to play hard breacher or hard or, uh, denial. So it's great. But, uh, and I don't know. And comp, I guess it's worse, but what do I know? I don't play comp anymore, <laughs> but we'll see how this goes for them. Personally, I like to go master first. I like to go master and then I like to go like games. So we're going to have the level 200s starting on attack once again. Whoa, what do we got going on here? So we have Doak and Hoop already take, taking down a bunch of HP. It looks like Hoop probably went to impact grenade the wall, but then hit smoke. So he got lit up and then splash damaged onto Hoop himself. Uh, cause he only has one or no impacts left. He uses last one on the rotate. 
And my guess is he did a little bit of a whoopsie. So we're already starting out the first map, or the second map, uh, wrong for the level 100s. Although they are up one map. We have to do remember that they did win the very first map. So they, uh, they're still in a good spot here. The level 200s are going to have to win not only this game, but next game if they want to lock out the full series. So we'll see what happens when we get there. Speaking of the level 200s, though, we're having uh, some of them push trench, some of them push front. It looks like they're probably going to do a default low rank take, which is uh, open up the breach and then everybody peek it because we don't know what to do. Um, that's kind of how it goes usually. So we'll see if, if that's actually what happens here. Uh, that bandit has got to get off now. What a solid line of this Maverick. What a nice line. All right, that's going to be very hard for Thermite to open up now, though, to be honest with you. Dab is uh, very lit. Only like five health somehow. I don't know what happened there. Everyone's trying to peek this, uh, this breach. So we still have Quacks and uh, Mom pushing back. Interesting. They need to just make the wall soft at this point because... I don't see how Thermite is going to be able to open this. Really. Yeah, there, there goes Maverick. I guess Thermite is going to open up the wall. He, he got the side of it. We also saw Buck opening up the backside. So now we're seeing them pinch. This is a great push by the level 200 players so far. They are completely collapsing on the site. Pup's going to pick up a nice kill onto, uh, who was that? Ash. Very nice. But it is now a 3v5. Despite the attack opening up both the front and the back walls, they are still struggling to push in. And that is because we're seeing them do the default dance low rank take. Open up the wall, and then what do we do? We don't know. So like, the wall is open. They're opening it more now. Like, there might is just... Yeah, so this is exactly what I expected to happen, I'm going to be honest. This is how Chalet goes on every low rank game. Everyone pushes. Uh, and that's not the bash on them. That's just how it is. Nice little angle on the blue. They have a perfect angle on the breach. Unless they go to the window or the front door, there's no way they're taking this. Nice shot. Oh, 2v5 now. Back is struggling. Ooh, nice shot there from medium rare vibes going for two he got it he downed the smoke very nice so it is a 2v3 now although bandit is still above gonna take a bunch of damage oh wow blanket with the two deagle kills i believe he only got one because uh the bandit down the other one Oof. clean so clean very nice so that is going to be the first round on to the level 100 players very nice so they are continuing their lead from last game they are currently up one map and one round on this game they are trying to lock out this whole series in a 2-0 it'd be nice to see um we'll, we'll see we'll see if the uh, level 200s have any uh right left in them checking out the new player on the level 200 team he's currently 0-1 it's all good. We gotta give him time, man. It's only been one round. Can't judge performance off one round. Love to see how he's gonna fit into the team. See if that causes any significant changes. I doubt it will, to be honest. All of these guys, it's the first time they're playing together, so I doubt it'll really change anything. Alright. So pretty similar lineup to what they had before. This time without the ying. And again, I just don't understand the ying. It's been both maps. They take ying. And then like the candelas are never used. It's like mind blowing to me. It's like this opera with all this utility and then none of it gets used. I think I think she used her hard breach catch. That was it. Uh, so I don't know. It's been very confusing to me. I think we saw the candelas used once. But ying taken like six times. So it's like, what are we doing here, guys? Um... And Ying's just not that good to begin with, I'll be honest. She's like good, don't get me wrong, but like she's not like that good. Attackers are moving to defuse the bomb. Oh, hitting a little spawn peak from Dab? See it? I don't think anyone's over there though. Yeah, everyone spawned library side. 
We got a Yana pulling out the Cybertruck. Medium rare vibes is full of the uh, the weird optics, I must say. Open out the iron sights on Thorn, the Cybertruck on a Yana. This guy's full of surprises, man. Ooh, nice shot by Dab. That's going to be their Twitch gone instantly. So good luck getting the stuff off the wall. I suppose they could go underneath, but it's going to be a little bit more difficult for them now. Uh, so the attack is trying to drone out library, maybe push games a little bit. Trying to take the west side of the map over. Not a bad take at all. Not a bad take. Going to have uh, Pup and who is it? Hacks having a little bit of a skirmish here. Ooh, bad Melusi placement. Sludge is going to be able to pick this up really easy. Walk a little bit forward, bro. You got it. So just go, you got it, man. You got it. I believe in you, Hacks. You got this, man. Walk a little bit forwards. All right. He's not going to. That's okay. Could get that. If you if you really wanted to, he could get it. Wow. Outlining Oops head, but he ends up getting the kill. Quack with another kill as well. Putting things into the level 200's advantage. He's now at 4v3. Oop. Axe going for another one onto Bandit. He's just going to leave, though. He's not trying to fight all this. But Lucy is fighting her demons on site right now, along with Blink. Oh, no, not Blink. Never mind. Axe with another kill. So there goes their Malusi, which was their only site player, I believe. So the last two players are below. They both do have C4s, though. So this could be huge. If they know where default plan is and the attackers go into plant, this could be a bunch of kills here. They, I think Falk is uh, pinging for a, a C4. I think she's a cam on site. Uh, she has a cam near site. Okay. Oh, there's one of the C4s I talked about. Pup getting a nice C4 kill onto whoever that was. Uh, Hacks finally entering the building now. 50 seconds left. The attack is not in a great spot anymore, to be honest. Uh, Blanket needed to rotate up solar stairs 30 years ago. He should not be down here still, in my opinion. Yeah, and he's going to die. So, things going back into the attacker's favor. Uh, Hack's gonna get healed up a little bit from the Thunderbird. He's gonna be planning default. Not looking great for Bandit. Nope, can't quite get the kill. Quack's gonna pick that up. So that is the second round going to the level 200 players. Very nice. That BP at the end was kind of weird. That should have been on the ring enforced wall. Not the, uh, not the, uh, wall that they had it on, but that's okay. Alright, so this is going to be their last defense round. Now, this map is a little bit different sided at least in more of a casual environment like you could argue some teams maybe this this map's a little bit more attacker sided in pro league or whatever but listen we got we got like golds and silvers in the lobbies all right this is going to be a little bit defender sided okay so this is their last round the level 100's last round to pick up one of these rounds when they have the advantage uh, at least until they go back over to defense if it gets to that it is pretty common that you'll see the defense win the split 2-1. So we'll see if that ends up being the case for them here. Uh, it's pretty common that you see a 2-1 split. Um, but you never know. That could go either way. Uh, lots of placeables. We're seeing a Cali come out from the attackers. Man, I hate this operator. Let me tell you. Do I, do I not hate an operator more than Cali? Um... The reason I hate Cali, by the way, is because uh, I get shot in the big toe and die from a million miles away through like 10 walls. And I, I want to lose my mind. I understand they changed her a little bit. I it, I hate Cali still. It's not, I'm never going to change my opinion on her. Uh, speaking of Cali, uh, Hoop is going to be trying to take her out. It's a 12x versus a hollow uh, 1x. So uh, he's not in quite an advantageous position the thorn isn't but he's still gonna try and he's still gonna take a bunch of damage on a hack so i just don't even understand what's going on Hack's just gonna give it up bro he's like you know what i, I i'm not cut out for it man oops the real sniper here who needs a 12x scope when you got a hollow on thorn? Love to see it. i'm gonna pick up a nice kill onto whoever that was um twitch very nice Goku's is taking a little bit of damage no is what Fox was in the site. What was he thinking? Pup with another C4 kill. Very nice. All right. So it is now a 2v5 for the level 200 player. Don't know that Valk is on stairs. They are being wary of it. Nice shot by medium rare. A 2v4. So that's one of the flankers gone. There is still one off site. So it is a 2v3 on site. If they were to push site now, 
have a 2b3. Although Blanket does have a c4, meaning he could c4 from underneath, uh, given he had info for it. So it looks like we're seeing the attackers rotate a little bit. I don't quite know what they're doing yet. Actually gonna push trench. Interesting, okay. Yeah, that goes for them. Oak is here for it though. He's ready for this. I don't know that he knows that yet. Oak getting an easy kill onto uh who was that? No, I'm not paying attention. And blanket with the last kill. Wow, I'm so out of the guys. I apologize for that. But easy round for the defense, so that is going to be them picking up the 2-1 split that I had talked about previously. Pretty standard. So level 100s are going to be taking that advantage once again. We're going to be seeing the level 200s now switching over to defense. So we're going to see if they can uh, play things out similarly to how the level 100s did. Something notable here is the level 200s are actually going to be going the better, arguably better site uh, first, which is Master Bedroom. Uh, whereas the level 100s went to the arguably worst site downstairs first. So something to know. Uh, could be a difference in experience that they know to go upstairs rather than downstairs first. But, uh, you know. Never know. So let's see if they hold this a little bit differently. We're ri we're ringing out the rook again. It's it's hurt my it's hurt my soul, man. My heart is aching right now. I'm seeing this rook. At least Oku's got the dog. I mean, at least there's that, right? But uh, they've got a uh, you know they got a rook still. What can you say? I'm gonna have a bunch of rook mains in my comments mad at me after this video. I can I can already see it right now, bro. I'm gonna have like people type in paragraphs to me in the comments about how Rook's actually a good operator. I don't know what I'm talking about. And how Doc actually sucks because of this or that. And how Rook's better because he has a 2x. People are gonna say, how is Rook's MP5 worse when he's got a 2x? Shouldn't it be better? I can see it right now. I promise you, look at the comments right now. Go look at the comments. I guarantee you someone commented it because they didn't watch this far in the video. And they only watched when I said Rook had a worse MP5 than Doc. If you're still watching and you remember that from earlier check the comments right now i guarantee you someone said something about it speaking of the mp5 i'm getting tabbed out by OneDrive. cool uh nothing we missed nothing but boku was in a prime position to take out doke there for a second or maybe it was someone else it was pop all right i was going for some one digs it looks like the attack is still unsure of what is happening they're, I don't even know if they know where the site is. All of them are in the basement. The site is third floor. Uh, so the why are we Flores joining down here? This is wild. I'm going to go on a whim here and say the attackers are not quite sure what's happening. Uh, we've got multiple people outside the the trophy window. Noak's finally pushing into the building. Wow. What a nice shot from Hax. We got up the Maverick. I don't know what Maverick was doing. Trying to nade from below is my guess. Why they didn't send Zofia to just impact from beneath, I don't know. But nevertheless, that's what happened. Who's going to take a bunch of damage? Band is uh, giving them a run for their money right now, I must say. So Lucy and Doke are going to be in quite the engagement. Pup's going to pick up the kill onto Malusi, though. Wow. Vow's going to get a nice little one D onto Ace. So there goes their hard breacher. That's also bombed down outside front door. Now, I don't know that Valk knows... That blanket is right beneath him. But if blanket can walk walk up the stairs here, he might be able to pick up the frag here onto Alk and potentially even Doc, as Doc's up here as well. Trying to heal up Hax. Although does does Hax know? Hax does not know. Blanket's gonna pick up that kill onto Hax. That's unfortunate. So Doc's not gonna get the heal off onto him. Although does Blanket know that Doc's right above him? I don't think he does just yet. He's very with downstairs for some reason, even though his teammate was downstairs. Attackers recovered the diffuser. They're right on top of each other, man. Ooh, it was actually kind of close. Can you imagine? All right. Ooh, almost a nice shot out of uh, where that was. Shit. Why are they why are these two still in library? Poor Rook is fighting his demons, man. Not only was I hating on Rook, but then he's also like fighting his demons here in a 1v3. 15 seconds left on the clock. The attackers are rushing in sight, and we got Doc prone with a deagle. You are flying up the stairs right now though. Maybe it's gonna work out on them. Mm, medium rare gonna pick up one kill. Nook's gonna pick up another. I don't even know what's happening. How do you cast that? What happened? 
I don't even know what happened. That was just pure chaos. Why there was two defenders still in library with 15 seconds left is beyond me. What's even further beyond me is the fact that there's two attackers also library with 15 seconds. Library. They were pushing up the library stairs. 15 seconds left. Instead of helping their, their teammate who was in sight. Nevertheless, going to be uh, the score to a 2 2 now. Oh, interesting round. My throat's getting sore. I don't cast like this. I don't talk this much normally. My throat's sore. I'm out of juice. People are playing Rook. Ugh. Can it get any worse than this, man? Can it get any worse than this? Attackers need to locate and defuse bombs. <clears throat> Alright. Well, we got the level 200s on defense now. I think they were on defense to start. But I'm out of it. So who knows what's happening realistically. Let's see if the level 100s fall into the trap that the level 200s did, where they open up the main garage breach and then all five take turns peeking the same angle, hoping that something's going to happen. Because uh, sounds really funny when you say it out loud, but trust me, we already seen it happen once this game. It would not surprise me to see it twice, especially with less experienced players. And that's, again, not me trying to hate on anyone in the lobby. You know, they only know what they know. But I'm hoping they watch this back and realize that they shouldn't be pushing it like that. Alright, so, so far, don't have too many attackers outside the breach yet. We'll see where they're going to end up going in a minute. Pick back in a little bit of sec. I don't know what Quack is doing. Uh, Blanket's repelling in top floor. Interesting. Take a look at the scoreboard really quickly. We have Blanket, the level 100s, really kind of caring a little bit. 6-1. and one. Axe on the other team for the level 200s going 3-3. Three and three. Yep, so it looks like they're gonna try to take the uh, big or the snowmobile garage now. Yep, here it comes. Breach is about to be open. Floor is thrown out in the breach for the camp bandit trick. They're opening up the wall now. Wow, gonna get a nice kill onto Dab. So that is unfortunate for Dab. Uh, what a transition that was. Vigil was mailing, and then so was Blanket as soon as I went to him. That was weird. What? Ooh, having a little bit of engagement here with uh, Blanket and. Uh, quacks. So this means that it is a three or three v four on site. Or to just rush site. Considering blanket can hold quacks here for long enough. Ooh, nice! Doing a bunch of damage onto blanket. Blanket might just rotate off on this. He might not want to risk his life any further. Yeah, Bandit could probably just rotate down solar if he really wanted to. He could take like the 50 HP to the to Ash and just leave, to be honest. That's probably what I'd do in this case, because the longer he stays here, the like higher chance more people are gonna push him as they call him out. Taking a look at the other attackers though, we got Doke and Pup flying down main stairs. I can't find Pope Pup's number. There we go. I need a keypad, man. I got a 60% keyboard trying to do this. All right, so Ella is like one HP. Medium rare vibes gonna pick up a nice kill onto Pup. So there goes the Flores player. He's gonna be trying to go for another kill onto the Ace who's outside the breach right now. They're gonna have a little bit of a skirmish. Wow, what a position Ella is in right now. And it's not gonna work out for him. Nice shot by Blanky. He's gonna push straight into his shield though. Quack's gonna be able to get an easy kill if he's not paying attention, Quack! What are you doing, man? Oh my god, and a swift win. The attackers, the level 100, just fly in. And it cracks, not even paying attention. Let's Ash walk right in front of him. Pulling a C4 out. Can't be letting that happen. Can't be letting it happen. Match point now for the level 100s. They're trying to lock this out for a swift, clean 2 0. Oh, that's what they're trying to go for here. Now, the level 200s have a lot to lose. Not only if they lose this round, do they lose the whole series, but well, that's about it, actually. <laughs> they just have a lot to lose. Uh, they shouldn't be losing this, technically. On paper, they should be winning this. Should not be losing. Um, but hey, they, you know, then again, who knows? All right, so if we take a look at the scoreboard here really quickly, we've got hacks on the level 200 teams uh, on first place going three and four. The actual top frag, though, is going to be medium rare or quacks going four and four. Top frag for the okay. level 100 team is going to be Blanket 8-1. and one, Although you have Doke on top going 4-1. and one, Playing a lot better than he was last game where he was like 1 and something. 
So props to him for bringing it back. Love to see it, man. Uh, so it comes to my attention that Dab has now left the game. I don't know why that has happened. Um, I'm not sure what the players are going to want to do. They do have time to rehost. So if they would like to rehost, they can call it and we will do. Uh, cannot pause timer when we're in the game. Can't pause the timer mid round or I would. Unfortunate. Uh, so they didn't want to call a rehost. So I guess they're going to go ahead and play it out. Medium rare is lit. How does this keep happening? <laughs> it's like they keep impacting each other or something. I don't, he didn't even place his armor. Oh my God. Not only is he Rook, but he's a bad Rook. Play Doc. You'd be full health if you were Doc right now. He'd be full health. Oh, I hate Rook. I can't stand it, man. Oh my God. What are, what are we doing here? So not only is medium rare going to be like 60 HP, but Boku's going to be down. He's going to get picked up back to 20 HP. If they had a Doc, he'd be almost full HP. Do they have a Rook? Oh. Hey, there we go. Get that armor. Yeah, that gave him like five health. All right. So the HP advantage is most certainly in the advantage of the uh, attackers here, the level 100s. Now, I was going to say this is going to be hard for them to win because the level 100s are at a disadvantage in terms of man count. But with the fact that medium rare vibes is trolling on Rook, impacted himself, and Boku decided to take like, what, 80 damage because he just hit fire to door. Um, this actually could be winnable, especially with Blanket on the flank here. Pup getting a nice little kill onto whoever that was, onto Mozzie. Blanket is trying to do a little bit of flank, and I don't think the, the defenders even know about this. Uh, if he literally walks into sight right now, he wins in the round. Like, the defenders don't know that he's here. And literally, none, none of them know. They all have their backs turned. Blanket needs to just fly in here, bro. Oh, and he, and he did. That's going to be Rook. Oh my god, that's going to be someone else. I don't even know who he killed. Very nice. So they are collapsing. Jaeger going to get another kill onto Doke though. So it is now a 2v2. Although only a 2v1 on the site. And Ace is, or Up is pushing the site. Bandit's going to pick up that kill. So it's a 1v1 on site now. 2v1 overall. Quack's going to get that kill. It's now a 1v1. And it does have bomb. At least he did. Gave it up now. Better shoot the C4. Can't die to a C4 like this. Oh my god, imagine if he died to it. And it's gonna try to flank down blue stairs. Qu uh, Blanket has time to plant though. Wax does not know that he's planting. There's no way he can hear this. So Blanket's gonna get this plant down. Quack or Blanket does not know where Quax is pushing from though. Blanket's currently 11 and 1. Quax is 5 and 4. So Blanket's playing significantly better overall. He's in a great spot. Definitely in the advantage of Blanket right now. Give away his position though, which is not good. He needs to just chill. And it knows exactly where he's at. This is really bad. This is really bad. Oh, but he maneuvered out of the position. That's a really good play by Blanket. Blanket's going to try to push the blue door now, though. Don't think Blanket knows about it. He needs to get ready for this. Oh, my God. But there's only a couple seconds left. Will he get it? He will. Oh, my God. Quite literally came down to two seconds on whether or not that was the end of the entire series. Two seconds. This whole All right. Awesome. So Dab has finally reconnected and I got myself some uh, mango twist juice. So awesome. Great little break. All right, let's see if everyone's ready. We got the level 200s back on defense, the level 100s back on attack. Pretty normal lineup coming out from the level 100s on attack. Uh, a lot better than bringing Ying, I would say. Uh, so love to see that. Bringing out the clash on the level 200 team. That is interesting. I'm I'm interested interested to see what they're gonna do with the clash. How they're gonna play her. Making the rotate that I prefer as well. I love that rotate. And then we got Rook. But I already know my thoughts on that. So <laughs> moving on. Um, something to note. They didn't impact each other this time, making rotates. So nice. Even the other teams like Clash. So what are you doing with Clash? Jaeger might be doing a little bit of a spawn peek here. And I believe the attack spawned there before. Oh, they all switched to spawn. Time. He's not going to get nothing out of that. Although, what? Mute might come into some people here. Yep. Looks like he's going to. He's going to run into Buck. Going to do a little bit of damage on him. Still chilling though. 
So it looks like the attack is very split up. You've got three people backside and then two people front side. Me is gonna take a lot of damage, but so is uh, Dab. So neither of them are coming out with much of an HP advantage. They're pretty much the same health, to be honest. Uh, ooh, but Fink is gonna be running up here. I don't think he knows about that. Yep, he's gonna get taken out. So there goes uh, Mute, and Boku is gonna take out Dab. So it is now a 4v4. We both got the refrag, so good on them for that. Clash. Let's take a look at Clash. So Clash is currently stopping zero. From repelling. Checking out this one. Um, I don't know what zero needs a cam here for, because like it's pretty obvious what's happening. Uh that's gonna be Hoop taking out what is that? Jaeger. So three of the attackers are just kind of sitting in fireplace. I'm not sure what's happening yet. No clear direction. You've got one guy in the basement, and then everyone else just like somewhere, I guess. I don't even know what's happening. The attack is so like not coordinated. No hard breacher either. So they're not gonna be able to open up the wall. They're gonna have to take gunfights. And that is what they are trying to do. Uh medium rare gonna take a bunch of damage. I think he got naded from below or something. I'm not mistaken. Ash doing some work right now. So the attack is pretty much just completely stalled at this point. The fact that they have a clash is ruining them right now. Oh, but it doesn't matter because Blanket just hopped in. Going to take a huge 2k. Blanket single-handedly just won them that round. That was crazy. I was about to say the attack are stalling out. They really need to think about pushing something different. And then Ash came in from behind, took out two people, took out the clash, allowed for Sledge to get a nice angle onto the last guy, and took him out. So that brings us to match point once again for the level 100 players. If they win this round, it is over. We're not going to see a map three. We are done. So let's see. See what will happen. Taking a look at the lineups, we're bringing the Ying again. I don't get ying i just don't i would understand it if they're doing some sort of rush strat or just some sort of strat in general but it's like every time they bring ying they're kind of all just like aimlessly walking around there's no like strategy so like ying isn't really efficient or like working out you should go to like candela but then there's an ads and there's no one to clear the ads for her um and then like she'll go to like candela everything and then like she doesn't have any support to push in so she just dies uh, or can't push in so it's like I just don't understand what the point of the Ying is. Maybe it's a comfort pick. Maybe they really enjoy the uh, the weapon, which, which I guess would be respectable. So three out of five of the drones on attack are already gone for the prep phase. You can see that in the top left corner here. All right, so let's take a look at the operator's spawns. We've got three of them pushing backside. That's gonna be your Ash, Buck, and Finca. Finca's actually got a shotgun, which is interesting. Wow, Buck picking up a nice kill through the wall. Very happy about that, clearly. That's going to be their Thunderbird player gone. So that is unfortunate. Not only are they going to abandon this wall, but they're also going to mute it. There's no way in hell they're getting through that wall. Uh, Finka's shotgun's going to rush in. A little bit of a throw. What the hell was that? Uh, so now it's a 4v4. I'm not quite sure what the plan is or was. The defense pretty much just has to stay alive now. If they can just hold angles, they're good. Because the attack does not have a hard breacher. Uh, unless Buck has a uh, gadget, which he doesn't. And let's see. Where's Ying? Ying does. So technically they could. Technically they could. But they do have jammers and bandits. Buck's watching flank with a shotgun. It's actually pretty smart. Ooh, nice shot. Wow, another 2k. Looking like the level 100s might pull this out, bro. It's a 2v4. Wow, bring that to a 2v3. Medium rare picking up a nice kill onto Dab. So it's going to be Quack and medium rare to clutch this up and go to 4-4. All they got to do is hold a crossfire in this, man. Ooh, yeah, I was really worried about Blanket just not moving right there. Medium rare with another kill. Very nice. So now it is a 2v2. They brought it from a 2v4 all the way from a 2v4 to a 2v2. But Lucy's going to try to go for this. Medium rare is going to light him up. 
They do have these Thunderbirds. They both got lit up, but they are getting healed right now. Oops, uh, a little bit worse off than Legion is, though. I think they're yinging. Yeah, they're going to ying in. Finally, we're seeing these Candelas used and to good effect as well. Pop's going for a flank, leaving poor Malusi all on her own, but she's got a triple kill. Going for the quad kill. That is the level 100s picking up the 2 0. -oh. So, can level 100s beat level 200s? Yes, they definitely can. Would this be different with different players? Probably. If you guys have any other video ideas, be sure to let me know down in the comments. I appreciate you guys watching this video. GG's to all the players. Shout out to them. You can see them on screen now. I appreciate you guys coming out. If you guys would like to play in any of my videos, be sure to check out the link in the description to my Discord server. You can join for completely free. That's where I get all these people from that are in my videos. Check that out. Subscribe if you're new. Turn notifications on if you've been subscribed. Like the video. Peace out.